Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and if we know each other already, then welcome back. Okay, so in today's video, we are doing an unboxing and if it seems like I'm kind of chit-chatting and talking super fast, that's because I have work and I gotta leave in like 5-10 minutes. I have no time to make any mistakes. So, video is starting. Snap, 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 go, go, go. Alright, so, we're doing an unboxing and of course, who doesn't love unboxing? The unboxing we're doing is none other than Influencer, their amazing box box. Ba ba da ba 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 ba. Right here, their amazing box box. They kindly sent me a box box. Thank you so much, Influencer, for picking me out of the bunch of people who are praying to get a box box, but they chose me, so I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Sincerely, thank you. All right, so anyway, on the cover it says CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara, and let's open it up. Now, if you follow me on Snapchat, which you should by the way, I've already, if I'm being honest, I've opened it up already, so I know what is inside, but it's okay. We'll just open it up together and see what's inside. Again, we're pretending we've never seen it before, you know, just pretending. So as I open it up, inside they give you a nice card, which is this. And it says, CoverGirl, I am what I make up. And then the other side has some information on it. And basically it says, CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara. Vitamin and mineral enriched formula gives you a full fan, thick, lush lashes. Sounds pretty good to me. Ergonomic handle provides precise application to catch every lash. Now, that's a bold statement if you ask me, because in my opinion, there's some lashes in your inner corner and on your outer corner where lash brushes can't really pick up and you gotta be like, eh, you know, trying to get that in there, but, you know, if they can catch every lash, hey, I'm all for it. They also say feather fan brush with alternating layers of bristles, dispenses formula evenly across your lashes. So, I'm down for that too. And if you want more tips, you can follow them on CoverGirl.com and on Instagram at CoverGirl. And yeah. Alright, so inside you get, of course, their CoverGirl Peacock Lash Mascara. And you also get this CoverGirl Melting Pot Lippy, which is this right here. I believe this is just an extra gift they threw in for me, so thank you again. Alright, so... That is pretty much what is inside. Okay, so of course I already have some type of lipstick on my lips and I'm not wearing mascara, but I am wearing fake lashes. So we're gonna be right back, take that off, and then put on the new products, all right? Okay, so I went ahead and took my lashes off and now my lips have nothing on them. No lips, all bare, so here we go. All right, so we're gonna open up this CoverGirl Peacock uh, mascara. Very interesting. It's not like a round tube. It has like a very interesting shape to it. So if you can see that. And I guess what they mean by being ergonomically friendly, the top where you grip the lashes is made out of rubber. So it has a nice feel, a nice grip to it. Alright, so we're going to open that up. Check out what the wand looks like. Alright, so the wand... That is what the wand looks like right there. Now, they did say this is ergonomic hand that provides precise application. Um, I guess if I'm holding it, it feels nice, I guess. I mean, not 100% comfortable in my own opinion, but nothing to complain about, all right? So, I've already curled my lashes and we're just going to dive right in and put some of this mascara on my bare eyelashes. Okay, so immediately I noticed it's definitely lengthening my lashes. I do have very short lashes, so that I do like a lot. It doesn't clump up which I like as well. It nicely spreads out each lashes, coating them evenly, which is also super nice. Now, would I say it catches every lash? Mm, I, I don't think so. But catches enough to say you have a nice, you know, nice lash going on? Yes. 
Okay, so I went ahead and coated both of my lashes and basically my overall thought, I mean, I do like it. It is a first impression, so as a first impression, I do like it a lot. I mean, it does look nice. I feel like I am out of focus. All right. I hopefully I'm in focus now. Okay, I apologize for that. Anyways, I do feel like it looks nice on me. I mean, it's not like it's a heavy, thick mascara. It doesn't like coat my lashes like some crazy mascara does where it like kind of gives you clumpy looks. So that's good. Does it cover every single one of my lash? Um, like I said earlier, I don't think so. But it covers enough to say, hmm, you have pretty lashes. You know what I mean? So... Oh, and the packaging, which I didn't mention before, I do like it a lot, actually. Not so much because of the shape of the packaging. I mean, the shape is pretty unique, if you ask me, but I'm more into the color. I think this is a gorgeous color. Definitely pretty. Kind of matches the color on my eyelid, which, by the way, if you like the look on my eyelid, then I did. I have already posted up a video about this look, so if you haven't watched it already, then... Links will be down below. Go ahead and watch that video. It's one of my holiday looks, so go ahead and watch that. Alright, so that is the end of the story with this mascara. Do I like it? Yes, I do. Okay, now, moving on. The next product in my box box is this Melting Pout by CoverGirl in 105. And they call this Gelful Jubilante. Jelly Jubilante. Alright, so let's open this up. I'm wondering if this is like a liquid matte lippy. Okay, so when you open it up, it has a kind of like a spongy applicator. If you can see right there, hopefully it's focusing. All right, here we go. Squeeze some out. I'll do a quick swatch on the back of my hand. Okay, so that is the color we're playing with right now. Very pretty. I think it's very pretty. Alright, so let's apply this on our lips. Okay, so I'm placing it on my lips right now, and I'm noticing that one coat or one layer of this lipstick is not giving you a nice covered, coated, full cover look. You do have to go back in and give it a second layer. Otherwise, it kind of looks patchy. But you know, with most lipsticks, I don't only just put one layer. I do kind of go back and forth with it. So to me, that's not really a big deal. Definitely feels creamy. It doesn't feel like it would dry down all the way. So I feel like you would have to carry this around in your purse because it might most likely come off while you're drinking coffee or drinking tea, whatever, living life. Now, with this lip product, it does look nice. I do like it a lot, and it is my first impression, of course. I do feel like, like I said, it probably won't dry down all the way, so you need to carry this lippy around in your purse. Not a big deal. People reapply their lipstick all the time. So, that is pretty much the rundown, and we're coming to an end to our video. I like both products. I think they're good as a first impression, and that's pretty much it, guys. Okay, so... I hope you enjoyed this video. I do have to, you know, quickly wrap things up and skedaddle out of here because I will be late for work, which I do not want to be late for work. All right, so if you haven't already, click subscribe and click on that notification bell. That way, every time I upload, you'll be notified and be first to know. And go ahead and like this video. If you like videos of me doing unboxing and showing you brand new products, sharing them with you, giving you my thoughts and my opinions, all that good jazz. All right, I hope you have a wonderful day. A wonderful night wherever you are. I'll talk to you next time. Okay? Bye!